Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. And obviously, I feel for the bait there, taking it super high level instead of uh, looking at it for, for really what the underlying uh, word conscious and athletics mean. Uh, and then just a follow up to that, when you start working with new clients uh, or even clients you've worked with for a while, do you notice a general trend of where um, they first have to build up that awareness uh, so that they can move forward? Is there something in common often that's kind of like the first thing that you all focus on that's not strictly physical and mechanical? Yes, there's two things. I would say the first thing is the food and in general, general food period. Um, and the second thing is a lot of their attitude and just their general mindset of, of kind of where they're at. Besides the physical stuff, they everybody knows they want to move. Everybody knows they, they need to move. How the way that they do it is critical and unique. And they and they get that part. Um, but a lot of the food stuff I really try to to go over. And I kind of I also don't put myself in a category of trying to train everybody or feel like I really need to train everybody. I like sometimes I can't tell you how many people I've met with. And sat down and been like, to review the level of accountability that they want, I really try to mold them and to, to try to get them to understand what the process is going to look like to see if they're really ready to engage in something that is going to have that level of accountability or a higher level of accountability. I don't want to just say, yeah, for $800 a month, I'm going to be able to do X, Y, Z, and you're going to see all these changes. Um, I like to go through more like when it comes to food. If you start eating a little bit more fruit, you're probably going to go through a lot more detox symptoms. You're probably not going to feel so good. Expect some pimples, expect some like TMI bathroom breaks, expect some like serious gas. And they're like, oh, I don't even know if I want to sign that. Like, I don't even know if I want to sign up for this. And I'm like, that's okay. That, that's perfectly fine. Like, I want people to know exactly what they're going to be getting into. And most of the time, um, it deals with a lack of understanding with food that they really need to kind of bring into gear and a, a, a mindset shift. Uh, the mindset shift usually, for example, deals with someone that is already stressed, works a lot, um, or just has that general stress. And then they want to do really, really hard workouts. And I'm like, I'd love to be able to push you like that appropriately, but I need to, I need to get some guarantees too. I need you to be hitting like eight hours of sleep. I need you to make sure you have enough water. Like, yeah, I can destroy your body. That's the easy part. Burpees, pull-ups, cleans, deadlifts, squats. I mean, do all the heavy stuff. Like, I really do think it's easier to break down the body, but to make the body feel good, to have a person understand their body and to be more aware, like even, even something like balance, you know, working on balance and stability. People just really aren't aware, going back to conscious, aware of their body, aware of certain these, but some of these movements. Um, they're not aware of how their body is going to feel when they do these movements. Um, they have the, a very uh, ridiculous expectation sometimes, I think, when it comes to results-based culture. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And all of a sudden, everything is going to change. Like, boo-boo, you have no idea how you may feel just yet. Like, you may do something that's going to get you to feel different. Like, you may, um, you know, eat these things and you're going to end up having these bathroom breaks, whatever in the fact, like everybody is that unique fingerprint. And I think we need to sometimes treat it as such, even though we can pull these great tools and, you know, all these uh, programs from different people, different, you know, tricks of the trade. Oh, try this exercise. Try Great. We can marry all that together, but what is going to be best for the individual? Sometimes that's why I think I've, I haven't done as well with some online stuff, but I'm also, um, I'm pretty happy with, very happy with the clientele that I've been able to, to keep, especially since COVID started. So, um, so those are the two main things, just to follow up with that question again, food, and then their general expectation and attitude awareness, mindset awareness. 